name is Tom Humberg, and I'm running for the State Senate in the 34th Senate District. And thank you all for being here. That's good. Thank you, Doris. That's very nice of you. Very, very nice of you. So, let me, let me first begin. Some of you have already had a chance to meet with me at coffees and so forth. Lorelei did a coffee, and I talked about my wife, the love of my life, the wind beneath my wings. We just got married 36 years ago, and that's Robin Umber. Robin? Now, for those of you who don't know, Robin and I met in the military. Each of us spent 30 plus years in the military. And the most important thing I did in the military, of course, was meeting and marrying Robin. Now, you may also know that she outranks me. Robin is a retired general, and I'm a retired colonel. General outranks colonel. So, one of the things that I've observed, and maybe those of you in the service have observed, is that there's this inherent bias in the military. And the inherent bias is in favor of those who are better leaders and who are smarter. And that's the only reason she outranked me, just because she was a better leader and smarter. Now, let's talk a little bit about this election. You've heard people say, this is the most important election. Now, I've served three terms in the assembly, so folks have heard me say that many times. I'm not kidding this time. This really is the most important election, at least in my lifetime. And it's an important election, and it's a particularly important election for us here in Orange County, because we are in a unique position to send a message like no other place in the country. Because if we turn this county from red to blue, if we turn this area from red to blue, this will send a message to the guy in the White House, the guy we've been complaining about for the last two years. And the message it's gonna send, the message is that we believe in the First Amendment. We believe in freedom of the press. We believe in the rule of law. We believe in the separation of powers between the various branches of government. Unlike the guy in the White House, who doesn't seem to understand. Now, what are we gonna do? This election is so important that we can't just vote. We have to talk to others, our family, our friends. We've gotta go door to door. We've gotta write that extra check. Thank you very much, Peter. We've gotta do all that we can because we can't wake up on November the 7th and feel like we didn't do what was necessary. So, if you want to, my wife and I, Rob and I are veterans, and people come up, including tonight, they say, thank you for your service. You know what? What I say in the last month, I say, you wanna thank a soldier, you wanna thank a veteran, go vote, and tell somebody else to vote. You, you want to, if you want to recognize the journalist who is just murdered as a U.S. resident, one of us who was just murdered, if you want to recognize the First Amendment and you want to recognize that sacrifice, then go vote and tell others to go vote. If you believe that our democracy, our democracy is at risk because of the fellows in the White House, then people don't just complain, go vote and make sure other people vote. Now, We've done enough complaining. It's time now to take action. And the people in this room, the people who made it their personal responsibility, either by holding coffees, or donating, or putting up lawn signs, or making phone calls, they're doing their part. Now we need to get everybody else to engage with us, and we'll be forced to multiply. Because if we do that, we're gonna feel good. We're gonna feel good about what we've done for our children and our grandchildren, and that's what this is really about. So, let me conclude by saying, if you want to send a message, send Harley Ruta back to Washington, D.C. If you want to send another message, send Cotty Petrie Norris and Josh Lowenthal to Sacramento. And, oh, by the way, send me to Sacramento, too. Thank you very much.